Hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Crafting! I am Zookeeper Siri and we are here outside of the Safari Zone where it's beautiful beautiful sign actually needs a, a little bit tweaking. It appears I have many things to fix in the zoo including getting a little bit of money so that Carpenter Cody here will be able to finish the fencing and once he finishes the fence for our beautiful Safari Zone then we will be able to start exchanging out all of the sheep and the raccoons and the deer for things like Jim's Brock and gazelles and maybe even even, uh, maybe even a few elephants. What do you think about that, Mr. Cow? So we'll be swapping out a whole bunch of those more domestic temperate forest animals for some proper safari zone animals soon. But first, I need to go home. It's kind of hilarious how there's so much to do in the zoo. But you have to admit, when your tummy is growling and your dogs are hungry, then it's time to get moving. So, Lily Girl, I know you're not going to like this, but I'm going to have to go ahead and... Well, I have a bear in my pocket. Guys, there's clearly a lot to handle. <laughs> so, welcome back to Zoo Desia, where we are busy, busy bees as usual. And I need to take care of Lily because she's so hungry. So, I'm sorry, Lily. I know you don't like it. You're kind of like Pikachu that way. You don't want to be inside of the safari net but you've only got five health and hunger left and I don't have any food that you'll eat if you would just eat the fish the forest river trout dog food like your brother this wouldn't be an issue but I know you won't so I'm gonna have to put you in here all right very carefully tuck her in my pocket there we go all right so we need to go home so that I can get a little bit more money we can pay the carpenters to finish up the fencing so we can start exchanging our pigs for wild boars uh yeah it's it's uh, it's a little bit to do but I think we're gonna have so much fun here in the zoo now that we're back to work and we are also going to go home and see if I've got anything back at my storage area that could be used for getting lots and lots of wool to make tents so that we can get some tents up and going for our guests here in the zoo and I also need to see if I have some acacia wood so that we can see about building a nice little uh, skywalk that our guests will be able to walk up so that they can see the zoo from a higher angle when they walk in here. And keep in mind, guys, this is not the whole zoo. This is just our safari zone. I'm really thinking about doing that live stream tour. I really hope you guys would be amiable, which means uh, kind of friendly and open to the idea. Just let me know. Let me know. If you guys are, then we definitely might set that up. I might even figure out how to set up a way to do super chat in the trees the way we used to to do so that would be so cool uh, all right but I'm rambling <laughs> I'm just so happy to be back I could just roll in these thorn bushes and the, the prickly grass with so much joy in my heart but all right Tate let's go ahead I'm gonna feed him no Tate Tate come back good boy I guess you really are ready to go home huh and we're gonna go home for the first time in months this is gonna be amazing on our way there, we can drop these flamingo eggs off at the Oology Research Center, which is the Egg Research Center, and we'll be able to hopefully pick up some food for Lily, hopefully pick up some money for the carpenters, and some wool to be able to start making tents for the guests, because I do have to deal with the guest issue first. All right, come on, Tate. We could teleport home, but we need to go to the Oology Research Center anyway. Oh, and I guess I need to make a proper path so that people don't have to climb their way up a cliffside to get this to the Safari Zone side of the zoo. My goodness, that's a little bit silly of me. All right, so hello horses. I should probably take you guys to the meadow of horses where I gather up all of these stray wild horses of the world and take them to a safe spot. But we are currently walking on the path through our Asian forest area where we have some capybara, a wild capybara. Are you kidding me? Look at how cute you are. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys, we should put a capybara exhibit around here. That would be so awesome. Look, and there's some wild chestnuts. Oh, I'm so happy to be in our world. You never know what to expect around the corner. All right, little guy. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Oh my gosh, he's just wandering into the fern forest. Oh, he's so precious. All right, so let's keep going. I can, oh, and there's a puppy grave. Have I noticed that before? Tate, is that new? I mean, not to not make you uncomfortable by asking, but huh. All right, we'll investigate the puppy grave later. And let's gather up all of the mushrooms that are on the path as we go. And we can clear away some of the overhanging vines to make sure this is a more comfortable spot for our guests to visit. Gosh, I love being back here. What are you guys most excited to work on? Is it going to be exhibits or just the amazing daily zoo life? You never know what to expect. All the creative projects that we work on as a community, the exploration that we can do. Oh, there's just so much to do in the zoo. I am so happy. All right. It looks like the mushrooms have really been growing rapidly, too. Whoa. Hey there. Tate, I heard a snake, so be careful. 
I should probably put up some warning signs for people who come down this area so that they know this is still a wild and untamed land uh, with little adorable bunnies hopping loose. So, all right. Down this path will lead you from the safari zone through what is loosely coined our jungle zone. I really shouldn't call it the Asian forest zone because it's got a lot of Australian birds in it and uh, New Zealand birds in it as well. But we have a lot that we're going to be building down here, so we'll just call it the jungle zone for now. Here is the banana grove. So this is the banana botanist uh, needs to move in here. And you can gather up a whole bunch of bananas from this beautiful banana tree. At least you could if your pockets weren't full of black bears and mushrooms and dead bushes like me. Uh, and a whole bunch of trash that people... You know what? I wonder... Uh, oh dear. Oh my. No, my mushrooms! <laughs> oh no, what are we going to do? Okay, let's clear up some of this room. I've got so much stuff on me. I guess it is time to go home so that we have a little bit more room to work. And let me put my adorable green boots on. There we go. My little stilly boots. Put my armor away for now. Oh, and I do have that unidentified egg I need to leave at the Oology Research Center too. Oh, man, Tate. I love our world. There's just so much to learn and so much to do. Did you guys know that giraffes love bananas? Apparently in zoos, that is like one of their favorite things to nibble on. Though all of the giraffes I've ever seen where you can like go to zoos and hand feed them at the little giraffe pavilion, which I've never yet done, but you can rest assured we would have one heck of a vlog if I ever got the chance to feed giraffes in real life. Oh my goodness, I can't reach that banana. Tate, why am I, oh, I love these benches. I forgot how adorable these benches are. These are some really nice benches for guests to rest on. And then this is a little stone that actually lights the area up at night so that we can keep everyone nice and safe. And if I could just reach that banana, please. Ah. Oh, you know what would be good for reaching bananas? Oh, and don't worry, that's just a, that's an automated zoo teleporter, not a real tiger, just like sitting randomly in the area. But it just hit me, you know what would be really good for being able to reach these bananas? Is a vine. Tate, why do I not have a pair of shears? A good pair of botanist shears. How am I going to be a good Siri and collect up all these plants if I don't even have a pair of shears on me? Clearly, I am behind on things. We'll have to collect up some vines and we can put them against the side of these tall trees so we can climb up and snag the bananas that are slightly out of reach. But we're gonna gather these up because bananas take forever to, to grow and you can turn them into so many delicious things. Oh my goodness. Let's see, uh, uh, da, 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 da. banana, come back here, banana. All right, so you can use the bananas in a lot of different recipes like to make grated fruit, gosh. Does anybody else miss Zoo Kitchen as much as I do? Maybe we'll have to start up another side series with Zoo Kitchen because I loved just cooking things up for our zoo animals and being able to see what their diet was as well as making delicious delicacies to sell in our zoo food stands. Let's see, banana splits, banana nut bread, delicious, delicious things, fruit crumble, mince pie, banana milkshake, the dough of a brownie, fruit bait. Fruit bait would be kind of important if I need to start collecting up more meat for my meat-based uh, eaters. Let's see, fruit salad, fruit punch, banana smoothie sounds so good right now. Oh, yum, and banana yogurt. Yep, I think we'll, we'll be very happy we collected up these bananas, Tate. All right, we'll gather up just a few more. They really take forever to grow, so it's good to have some of them on me. And now I know I need to get some shears as well. All right, there we go, one more banana. Oh, I fell down something. Oh, a little cliff, all right. And then we'll just kind of fly by, no pun intended, or maybe I did, <laughs> the really awesome aviary. So this is one of our great aviaries. Like I said, if you guys are interested in a zoo tour or just doing some miscellaneous work around the zoo together in streams, then we can totally do that. I can give you all a great tour. Oh, look at our little donation box right over here. I love it. That's so that if we have any of the other zoo crafters or possible guests that we could invite onto the server, like actual guests and not just NPC guests, they could uh, they could donate something, like maybe some bananas if they so wished, to our tiger exhibit. These are real tigers, not automated tigers like the teleporter. And it appears that they have had a couple cubs or a couple like tiger babies. So I might have to examine that, Tate. This will be um this will be interesting. All right, so there's Educator William about the tigers. You can see a really awesome little tiger overview, but uh, enough rambling, you're right, Tate, come on. To the Oology Research Center, my friend, and we'll leave behind the flamingo eggs and head home. It's just so hard, I'm so proud of our zoo and it's so beautiful and I, I just, I wanna stare at everything. Oh, our underwater Asian fish area. <gasps> there is so much to see. There's so much to see and so much to share. 
All right, but let's go ahead and here we are, the Egg Research Center, the Egg Gathering Grove Oology Research. And we can leave the flamingo eggs and my unidentified egg safely here. All right, there we go. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Yeah, yeah. Hi, pigeons. And then we've got our blaze chickens. How are you ladies doing? Laying lots of blaze for me to be able to use to help the eggs hatch. Gosh, they're so beautiful. I love these guys. All right, and then we're going to go ahead and leave the flamingo eggs right over here. These are actually incubator chests. You can see they're made out of a special woven glowstone wicker basket so that that way it'll keep the eggs nice and warm here in our research center. Oh, it's a lot to catch up on, so I don't blame some of you new guys who, or even the old guys who have been around to feel a little bit overwhelmed with how much our zoo has to offer. But I promise I'll try to take things slow once we get started on some of our projects. And if you are really curious on where things came from or what's going on, then you can always check the previous seasons of our zoo crafting adventures, because we have done a lot and I am so proud of this world and so proud to be back in it. Oh, I could just brush away a tear. All right, so I'm gonna nibble some spring onions of friendship soup to fill up my tummy. Uh, and then I do need to leave my unidentified egg. I'm gonna go ahead and very gently tuck it in here It'll be better off in an incubator than it would inside of my pockets and then we're gonna continue heading home Well, let me check my other pockets for any other eggs <laughs> just to make sure. Oh, no I do have other eggs a penguin and an ostrich egg <gasps> ostriches 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 in the safari zone! Yes, that would be so cool! Oh my goodness, okay, that got me a little too excited, but we'll definitely uh, have to remember that. Let me tuck these eggs away. All right, they'll be much safer here inside of, there we go, here inside of the incubators than they would with me. And we'll have to have some egg hatching days. And you know, as time goes on, we're gonna start adding in a lot more zookeepers. I'm going to have different special uh, episodes where you guys will be able to toss your name and your description into a little, uh, little random generator special event. And we'll probably start doing it so that zoo donations will go towards zookeepers again too. All right, let's continue moving on. We need to go past the hummingbirds who are a little noisy. They're a little excited to see me, but I have a feeling they'll quiet down in a few days. Our little hummingbird exhibit. Oh, our world is so beautiful. I'm so happy to be back here. That does remind me I need to get some chameleons again though and not put chameleons in with the hummingbirds because they are a little bit aggressive. All right. Oh. And the Dodo ATM and banking stand. So for those of you guys um, who aren't in the know, we have a Dodo named Martha. Once upon a time, she was a chicken in our old, old world. And she has stayed with us since the very early adventures of a zoo crafting. And she uh, somehow, through a cloning accident, ended up turning into a Dodo. Why did I have to clone her? Martha has a bad reputation of dying. The last death was slightly dramatic and it involved a creeper. Hmm, that was actually a pretty interesting event now that I think of it. But, uh, yes, so... With uh, Martha, she is our accountant of the zoo, our dodo, who is able to do a lot of math. And now we have her many, many children helping out with the zoo by having dodo ATM and banking stands scattered throughout its land. So actually, if I dig out all of those wooden coins that we collected from the zoo guest, oh, they gave me some more, 45 wooden coins. And then we come and talk to her, her child here, which is, I should say her employee, because yes, they may be her chicks, but they are grown dodo and manage some of the banking areas on their own now. But we can exchange the wooden coins for emerald coins. And now we just need one more emerald coin to give to our new carpenter friends and they will finish the fence for us. Ah, which sounds convoluted, but it's actually gonna make things go a lot faster. All right, we're gonna avoid the peafowl and we're gonna go ahead and wiggle our way up. This is a private trail, very steep. And it's mine! <laughs> and we're gonna go home! Home! Which looks like it's still covered in snow because spring probably hasn't... Eh, eh, there we go. Spring probably hasn't come properly to my area yet. All right, keep wiggling. Keep wiggling. Oh, look at our look at our tree! Our 1,000th episode of Zoo Crafting Tree. Yes, there's been that many. <laughs> <laughs> and every milestone episode, we plant some beautiful trees. And because we reached 1,000 episodes, this is the beautiful tree we planted. And it's got some very special secrets hiding inside of it. But that's not an adventure for today. For today, we're going to continue the weaving, rambling path through this cave system. Up from where we have the peafowl gardens and the hummingbird aviary. Oh, look at all the 
mushrooms and I'm gonna collect up some of these delicious mushrooms so that I can have some nice food when I get home. I just, I really love mushrooms. They're so yummy, especially in like a fried rice. Uh, and Alia, Alia, I'm so happy to see you. Oh my goodness, it's been so long. What do you think, Tate's back? Oh, it's so good to see you, girl. Oh my goodness. Where are the other puppies? Zoe, hey, how you doing? Hanging out inside of the little puppy cabin? Oh, I'm so glad to see you, girl. And then let's see, Iris, there you are, my girl. Oh, hugs, I've missed you guys so much. There's little baby Relic. And then we have Ash, his dad, over here. And I think the other girls are actually off at the, um, off at the doggy daycare right now. Is there enough food here? Oh, thank goodness. All right, Lily, you can come out now. Need to make sure I grab Lily and not the black bear. All right, there you go, girl. Oh, thank you, Relic. <laughs> I don't know how you keep finding all of these relics. That's how he got his nickname. Relic was actually a uh, zombie puppy, believe it or not. Oh, Tate, that's adorable. You can rest inside the doghouse if you want. But he was actually the lost spirit of a puppy found inside of the catacombs when Ash went on a walk there. When I leave them with the doggy daycare, they get to go on special walks and bring home random items. And he brought home the trapped soul of a little puppy we were able to bring back to life. That was, uh, that was an interesting way to become a dad, Ash. But all right. Yep. Like I said, it may feel a little overwhelming, but it's just absolute amazing episodes of story that have unraveled across the ages. I highly recommend checking them out. It's pretty awesome. Hi, Bubby. You're going to grow up to be a big puppy one day and the archaeologists are going to love all these relics you drop. I'm going to have to see what we can do with them one day. All right, but we're back at the doggy yard, and that means we're back home. My home. Oh, I'm so happy to be home. Oh, hi, Ash puppy. Oh, my gosh. Home. We just still decorated for Christmas? Ugh, no wonder the snow is still here. Christmas decorations just attract all kind of little snowstorms, so we'll have to clean up the Christmas decorations soon. Oh, and I can see my wonderful darling soon. Oh, and there's the little squicken. I bet I... Oh, wow. You guys, look at that. Fairy lights. Fairy lights, and somebody's been in my yard. I hope my cat hasn't escaped. We'll have to look for Agent Noodles in just a little bit. And then urgent mail from the Arctic? Oh boy. <laughs> what do you do when you've, you've missed talking with Santa? This may be a little bit of an event. Do I have, oh my gosh, there's just cakes all over the place and somebody has, oh, yep, I've gotten mail. My mail flag is up and, um. Gracious, there's somebody has installed like a really cute little fairy light system and there's my Zudesia sign that Pablo made for us and let's see Oh my goodness. My mailbox is full. My bone box is like literally full <laughs> We're gonna have to take care of that mail guys. Oh, this is this is this is pretty amazing Oh my goodness. I'll look over it in just a, in just a bit I've got a lot. I just need to ch make sure everything's okay. So the snow is still here. Oh, if I have a little shovel, <gasps> I could make those banana smoothies. Yes, no, no, I didn't mean to destroy my ground. <laughs> Dang it, I need a more gentle shovel for gathering up snow. But we'll have to clear out all of the snow that's in my yard, gather up the Christmas decorations at some point, and then we'll be, oh, I'm destroying my yard, why? And then we'll be able to uh, put in some of the spring plants and take care of my home. But I've got to take care of the guest at the zoo first. So, huh. all right, back home. Welcome to my home, anyone who happens to be new. And welcome back home to all of you who have been around for a while. This is my home. Here lives my wonderful darling, the love of my life, who I have shared my home with for the past four or five years. It's getting to that phase in a relationship where you can't really remember, but you just care about each other and so you're together. We've got lots and lots of puppies, some of whom, like I said, are actually over in dun 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 the Village of Light. So the Village of Light is one of our main villages. You can see where my house has had a bit of a snowstorm to celebrate the winter season, but we should start being able to turn it back into spring if I start removing the Christmas decorations. And then over here, we actually have the Zomberry Village, where I keep so many of the villagers who have approached me as zombie villagers eager to eat my brains, and I have done the Good Samaritan work of transforming them back into regular villagers so that they can live out their lives peacefully with my adoptive zombie villager, former zombie villager, I should say, sons here in Zombery Village. And then down here, we have the Village of Light, which is slowly but surely expanding. And we've got the doggy daycare over here. And at the doggy daycare, we can buy doggy food, which helps to take care of my whole pack. And we can also leave our puppies so that they can get special skills, exercises, and collect up some awesome items from their special walkies. Oh, oh, okay, breathe, Siri. 
Man, trying to explain the history of four years of your life in like little zip it bites for you guys is a little hard. Oh my goodness. But let's go ahead and go inside. I'm sure my wonderful darling is hiding somewhere in the home reading his Chinese textbooks as real life darling is working on. Oh, I have mistletoe here. If only darling was downstairs, I'd give him a kiss. Real life darling is working on finishing up his first year PhD stuff. So we're actually both locked in our offices right now. I'm sure he's upstairs in his office here as well. And then you may notice lots of little darlings. Uh, this is what my darling looks like, uh, scattered around the house. Left over from an interesting magical prank pulled on me by some of our other zoo crafting server friends. And um, I don't know what to do with these guys just yet, but rumor has it I might be able to build a really adorable cookie and chocolate factory that I can... like. Yeah, cookie and chocolate factory, little guy. Because they really love chocolate, like little brownies do. Uh, and we may start... Brownies being the mythical creatures, mind you. And I've been talking about building a little chocolate factory underground that they would be safe to live in and be able to make lots and lots of sweets in. My gosh, I forgot how much I love this world. I forgot how much we have to do. Oh yeah, and have you seen my uh, my certified Siri, the zookeeper, little uh, decor piece? If you go play with deco crafting, you may actually find this adorable doll made by Razzleberry for the deco craft mod. And uh, I'm there with my Goldian Finch. That's Ossiei right there. Yay! Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Martha, it's good to see you again. How are you? This is Martha. I told you guys about her earlier. And she is my Dodo accountant. So let's go ahead and see if inside of my little... Uh, yes, I've got plenty of money. Oh, fantastic. It appears I am not dead broke for once. Lots of zookeeper experience points I forgot about too. So I can go ahead and grab the last emerald coin. Oh, that's a relief. Wonderful. So lots and lots of uh, different... Oh, the death investigation. Uh, we'll talk about that later. But yeah, we've got lots of things to clear up. I'm thinking uh, kind of sorting through our chest. Oh my gosh. There's so much stuff in here. I've done a lot more than I remember. My goodness, zoo crafting has been amazing for years, but I'm thinking some regular streams to kind of clear up the areas and be able to um, tidy up our yard, do some planting, do some farming, do some sorting. A lot of people, for some reason, find sorting of chest very relaxing. But yeah, seriously, if you guys want to see that happen, then let me know. And like I said, we might even integrate Super Chat and being able to have yourself added in as a zookeeper or have a tree planted in your honor, which is something we also do in the zoo. You can see the family roots tree planted down there in honor of a wonderful little foster son. Uh, not mine, but someone else's. Oh my gosh. And it appears we need to go on a tour of the zoo to ensure the safety of my zoo residents because it appears my friend Benjamin has left dinosaurs in my river again. <sighs> There's clearly a lot to do in the zoo. But all right, so I've managed to come back, dropped off the eggs in the Oology Research Center, snagged some emerald coins, uh, definitely noticed that with Martha, I've got plenty and plenty of money at the moment, which means I could probably have those carpenters. Whoa, whoa, daisy That was interesting. But I could probably have those carpenters actually work on a lot of projects for me once we get going because I have a bit of money set aside at the moment. So maybe I could finally get those beautiful butterfly houses built. And I almost forgot while I was here that I need to run downstairs past Major eh, Major Calhoun and Captain Cass. How do you do? How do you do? These are, uh, this is my feline security team, though it looks like Captain Kaz is nibbling the catnip a little strongly there. Not while you're on duty, sir. Not while on duty. And, oh, wow. Look at it, guys. The map of Zudesia back when we first got here. Oh, it's so amazing to see how much everything has changed since then. This is just a really beautiful little like memento map. It's so awesome to see. And of course, I've got my fish right over here. I have a whole bunch of my uh, fish in my fish tank that makes up my tree house. I'm, I think I'm going to cry. I forgot how much I love my home here. And I just I'm so happy to be back. <laughs> deep breaths, Siri, deep breaths. I, I remember why I love this so much and love being here and love sharing this world with you and you know what I don't I don't care if everyone's like Siri you've got too much to do in the zoo you never build anything I'm just gonna be happy to be home and just keep that feeling for as long as I can but all right so 
We need to find the wool, uh, if I have any left. Do I have some wool left? A little tiny bit. I have some wool, I have a little bit of green wool. I was thinking maybe some green wool to make nice little tents that could go in the safari zone. Maybe some brown wool would be good, actually. So let's grab some of the brown wool. And I think the brown wool, how many colors of wool are there? So I'm thinking we might have to go to my farm. I think maybe the orange wool, actually. What do you guys think? Green tents would look really nice, but I feel like orange tents uh, or even brown tents would fit the safari zone better. So maybe we'll do a little bit of both. I'll grab some of this orange dye just in case, and then we will go ahead and snag some of the wool. There's not enough cotton to be able to make uh, wool out of the cotton. And then I'm gonna grab, yeah, I think the orange wool or the brown wool for orange and brown tents would be really nice over in the safari zone. But I definitely need to get my hands on some more wool. So if I want to make the tents, looks like I'm going to need to go ahead and go to the meadow of horses and visit my farm. Yes, I do have a farm too. And we can go and shear some sheep and look at the beautiful horses that we've got over there. So, whew, oh my goodness. There's so much to do, I'm so excited. We have plenty to keep us busy for quite a while. So let me come back home. Uh, do I have enough food? I have a lot of baked beans left over from my camping trip. I think we're good. We're gonna keep busy, guys. I hope you're ready. It's gonna be rush, 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 rush. Trying to get so many things done in the zoo, but once we start going, it's just gonna be one thing after another. All right, come on, Tate. Come on, Lily. Let's go ahead and grab some puppy food too. Let's see, PB. Oh, it's the PB and carrot shoes from the uh, the doggy daycare. Ostrich, carrot, and sweet mash. A little bit morbid considering we're going to be adding ostriches into the safari zone, but you know what? I think it'll do. I think it'll do. All right, so I'm going to start running back towards the safari zone with Lily and Tate. I'm going to give the emerald coins to the carpenter so we're able to get our fence built. And once we do that, things are really going to start happening in the zoo. And we're going to be doing the very down and diligent work of the details of adding in different paths for people to walk in in the safari zone. We're going to be building their tents. We're going to be integrating your guys' ideas. And we're going to be adventuring in this absolutely amazing, beautiful, story-filled world. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Bye.